morning. So many people are thinking about losing weight and working out this week, but nearly 92% of all people fail at their New Year's resolution. So how can you stay motivated and get some results? Tristan is James Val is here to break down the five fitness fables that could be setting you back. James, That's good right. to see you. Nice Great to have you here. this morning. Right. All right, so I'm going to read off the first one. Can you work out one to two days a week and lose weight? Is that true? No, that's no. false. Okay. <laughs> Believe it or not, you have to move. Best if you can move every day, mm -hmm. but a minimum three days a week. You got to get the exercise in. The second piece is you're going to lose your gains if you stop in as little as a week. You lose all those gains, so you got to keep at it. Got it. How does your diet play into that, by the way? Diet's a big deal, right? I mean, you know, when you look at things like vegetables, lean proteins, uh -huh. if you're not going to eat things like fish, you got to take some fish oil. Omega threes are important. You're not going to eat vegetables, drink your vegetables, right? You got, you got to get that vegetables in there to get the minerals and get all that alkalinizing effect that it has. Yeah. So it's important on what you're doing with your diet. Number two here, weightlifting turns fat into muscle. What do so you say? Sorry on that one. Another no. fable, fat is fat and muscle is muscle. You want to eat leaner foods like we discussed. Uh-huh and then exercise and try to get enough rest, and that's how you're gonna burn fat. Does muscle turn into fat when you don't work out? Muscle doesn't turn into fat, but when people cut their calories, they lose muscle. People will lose as much as 30% of their weight loss when in lean muscle. Ah, so believe it or not, you've got to eat well and exercise, and then you don't lose, lose the muscle. Let's talk about sports drinks. Sure. Uh, do they help muscles refuel? Well, one of the big things is, of course, some of the sports drinks are out there are just sugar, and you know, sugar is going to help the, the muscle to refuel a little bit, but yeah. the novel thing that's out, and what I've been using with my pro athletes for the last several years, um, interesting new compounds. This is one that has velocitol in it, which is a complex of amylopectin and chromium, mm -hmm. and this actually enhances muscle protein synthesis, doubles the rate of muscle being synthesized on you after a workout. So what does that do? That's gonna mean you're gonna make more lean mass, because remember, here's the thing, muscle is the currency of aging. So this combined velocitol with whey protein and branched chain amino acids doubles the rate of how you're gonna put muscle back on your body. Try it, see yeah, what it tastes like. See. It's actually, wait. It's like a lemonade iced tea kind of thing. It's actually not bad. It tastes pretty good, yeah, right? It's good. It took me a minute, but no, it's good. No, <laughs> it's, it's not bad. Yeah, at right, all. right. Uh, sit ups will give you six pack or a six pack abs. Well, what's going to give you a six pack ab, taking in proteins after you work out, mm -hmm. eating leaner foods, maybe doing some things like core work and plank work. If you have lower back problems, though, consult a fitness trainer. Find out what exercises might be right for you. Got you. And then before we go here, we've got about 15 seconds left. Morning, the best time to work out. Is it, that true? It is true. It's the best time to work really? out. Really? Even better if you're trying to lose weight if you fast. So don't eat before you work out. But what's really important, work out the time at which you can be the most consistent with your workout. So whether it's day or night or whenever you can do it, pick a time that you can stick with it. Really great tips. James, good to see great. you. Great. Thank you. It. This